Hello, my name is Nick, and I'm a member of the Glimpse team. I'd like to take a moment to show you what Glimpse can do. For this session, we're going to be using the ASP.NET MVC Music Store. The Music Store is a sample MVC3 application that you can download from CodePlex. It functions as an online music store where you can see albums and purchase albums. I'm going to log in as the administrator, and we're going to try to edit some of our inventory. When I'm using Glimpse, a little eye icon is added to the lower right hand corner of our page. This eye gives us a glimpse into what's happening on the server side for each request. So for the request that was made to render this form, here's the information that Glimpse was able to glean. First thing that we're going to look at is route information. My MVC app is currently configured to show four different routes. The first two are not matches. Uh, they're there to filter out AXD and save icons. The third, however, is, and we can see all the information about it, such as its placeholders, controller, action, ID, those placeholders, default values, and the actual values that were used in this request, store manager, edit, and one for the album ID. In addition, we can see any constraints or data tokens that are associated with the route. This is fairly simple information, but Glimpse doesn't, isn't limited to just routes. It can show us more. For example, if we take a look at execution, I can take a look at every action filter, action method, and action result that ran in the order that it ran to render this page. So you can see here we have a few different action filters. My action method is actually highlighted here in yellow on the, on the controller, the store manager controller, we called edit. And <clears throat> after that, a view result ran. This view result actually made some child action calls. So we can see that entire request pipeline here, all denoted the donate the noted sorry guys the child is marked as true finally we can also see all all filters that were not executed in this case i had a bunch of handle error attributes none of them ran because i didn't have any exceptions on this page another thing that i can get is information about the views so we can see here that to edit this to render this view sorry mvc made requests to the web form view engine checking in its cache but could not find the view that we were looking for I then looked in the Razor view engine's cache and also could not find the view engine. I went back to the web forms view engine, said not to look in cache, so we looked in all the standard places on disk. We were not able to find uh, the view that we're looking for here. Finally, we went back to the Razor view engine, did not look in cache, and we were able to find our view. And in this case, we passed in a dynamic proxies.album. This is an EF model, and here's the, the, the values that were passed in. So we get an actual glimpse at what the model was that was passed into this, into this view. I used to be a web forms developer, and one of the nice things we had in web forms was the ability to do trace.write. We've lost that ability in MVC because we don't really have a place to show tracing information anymore. Well, with a glimpse, we've added that back in. At any point in your code, you can do a trace.write or a debug.write, and the trace dialog, or, I'm sorry, the trace plugin will show you that the trace tab show you that information uh, here and you can see that we have full support for categories and we will highlight them uh, appropriately as needed so that's a quick little look at some of the standard things that glimpse can do out of the box we also ship some plugins with glimpse one of them is the ajax plugin so you'll notice here on the front page of the mvc store we have this little news ticker every 10 seconds the news story changes to a news story using a simple ajax poll if I click on the Ajax tab in Glimpse, you can see that no Ajax calls have been detected on the page yet. That's because it hasn't been 10 seconds. Oh, and there we go. 10 seconds just passed, and now we can see that home slash home slash news was requested via Ajax. If I want to inspect this actual request and not the request I used to get to the home page, all I need to do is click launch. Oh, you can see another one just came through every 10 seconds it's running. But all I need to do is click launch here. You can see that it's selected in yellow. In addition, Glimpse is telling us that we're looking at an XHR request that went to home slash news. Now, if I go and I look at routes, you can see that the route that was, that was selected was home news optional. We can also look at the execution stack, and we see we have a much simpler execution stack here than in my admin console. All of the information that's available before is now available. Addition Additional tabs that we haven't looked at so far include our configuration, where we can see many of the important configuration settings that we might have, as well as our environment, the name of the machine, when it was booted, and what assemblies were actually loaded up for that request. This information is really handy in uh, server farm scenarios. 
So if you want to find out more, you can download Glimpse from NuGet, the package name is Glimpse, or visit our website at getglimpse.com. Please send us in any feedback. Glimpse is currently in beta, but we'd like to see it go on to do bigger and better things. Thank you very much.